Thank you BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. Human aging, it's impossible to avoid, or is it? What if there was a way not just to stop it, but reverse it? But first, I want you to ask yourself, what's going on in your life right now that's interfering with your happiness? As someone who works from home, I feel often quite lonely or that I'm operating in a bubble, which can have all sorts of knock-on effects in my day-to-day -day life. I know lots of people are experiencing the same thing, but no matter how you're feeling, you need to know about BetterHelp. BetterHelp isn't a self-help program or a crisis line, it's actually professional therapy done securely online. After assessing your needs, you'll be matched with a licensed therapist from their network of over 20,000, which means you can get a therapist with an expertise that might not be available in your local area. And they are truly committed to great matches, so it's easy and free to change therapists if needed. Sessions are all done over video or phone, so no more sitting in an uncomfortable waiting room. And you can message your therapist at any time. You can start communicating within 48 hours and their service is available for clients worldwide. So go join over 1 million people taking charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced professional. Go to betterhelp.com infographics for 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp.com slash infographics and start living a happier life today. What if you could live forever? We already have the technology to reverse the aging process, so if you want to live a longer, healthier life, what we're about to tell you will change everything. There have been several research studies published recently with extraordinary findings. Not only do certain technologies have the ability to slow the aging process, but some can even reverse it altogether. The interesting thing is, we've had this technology for a long time and have used it for medical procedures in the past. The technology we're referring to are hyperbaric oxygen chambers. If you're a scuba diver, you probably have at least heard of the device because they're used to treat someone who ascends too quickly and gets air bubbles in their blood. The name given to this deadly circumstance is the BENZ. This can be fatal if the bubbles make it to the brain and cause an aneurysm. The hyperbaric oxygen chamber can be used to repressurize someone to remove the air bubbles from their bloodstream and allow for more oxygen to enter the body. A recent research study can conducted at a Tel Aviv University and the Shamir Medical Center in Israel have found another use for hyperbaric oxygen treatments, reversing the aging process. This study was conducted by Professor Shai Efreti and Dr. Amir Hadani, who used 35 healthy individuals aged 64 or over for their experiment. They used hyperbaric oxygen chambers to increase the pressure and amount of oxygen the patients were receiving. Each patient was given this treatment 60 times over a period of 90 days. What they found has scientists around the world excited. Most scientists believe that aging and the physical changes that happen as you get older are a byproduct of damaged DNA. DNA controls all of your traits, from what you look like to the amount of hormones you produce, but DNA begins to degrade over time. The older you get, the more damage accumulates on the DNA of your cells. On a basic level, this is what causes aging, and if you're lucky enough to remain disease-free, the reason your body will eventually give up is because it can no longer create new cells to replace the old ones due to damaged DNA. Your body has natural ways of combating this process, which allows humans often to live into their 70s and beyond. But death is inevitable, because eventually the DNA in your cells becomes so damaged that other physical problems begin to arise, such as diabetes, Alzheimer's, and organ failure. However, what the research study conducted by Afreti and Hadani showed was that the DNA of their patients did not just stop degrading, but actually started to repair itself. To understand what this means, we need to understand what scientists believe are the two main causes of aging. The first has to do with telomeres. These are sections of your DNA DNA on the ends of each of your chromosomes that act like a protective helmet for your DNA. This keeps the DNA from getting damaged each time the cell replicates. However, each time your cells do divide, part of the telomere is lost. Once the telomere sections of your chromosomes are gone, the DNA begins to degrade. This causes your cells to stop working properly and the symptoms of old age begin. The second thing your cells do that causes aging is to become senescent. This is when cells stop dividing and remain dormant in the body. This is a natural process, but these senescent cells can often cause cause problems for the healthy cells around them, and have a negative effect on the body itself. Many scientists believe these senescent cells may play a role in certain conditions associated with aging, such as osteoarthritis and cancer. So how do we stop the aging process or reverse it? We would have to find a way to regenerate the length of the telomeres on the chromosomes, and we'd need to destroy or remove senescent cells. What the Tel Aviv University research team found after examining the cells of the patients in their studies was astonishing. By using the hyperbaric oxygen chambers to increase the levels of oxygen in a person's body, cellular regeneration can occur. This is not new to science as these devices have been used by medical professionals to increase immune responses and speed up the healing process in the past. However, what Efreti and Hadani found was even more incredible. They looked at the immune cells contained in each patient's blood who participated in the experiment. From these cells, they could examine each person's DNA, and what they found was that in some cases their telomere lengths had increased by up to 38%. This 
is amazing because it could mean the hyperbaric oxygen therapy did not just slow the degradation of telomeres in cells, but actually reversed it. If further research can duplicate these results, then we may have found a way to indefinitely repair telomere length and therefore reverse one of the causes of aging. But what about the senescent cells? Was there any reduction in these harmful cells? The answer is yes. Surprisingly, the researchers found that there was a decrease of up to 37% in the number of senescent cells in the patients of the study. This means that the second component of aging could also be dealt with by increasing the oxygen flow through the body using hyperbaric oxygen therapy. The increase in telomere length and the decrease in senescent cells are two components needed to stop aging and reverse its effects. What is really important to consider is that if continued exposure to hyperbaric oxygen therapy keeps increasing these beneficial effects on the body, we could theoretically turn back someone's biological clock and return their body to a younger state. Let that sink in for a moment. Now, we're by no means saying everyone should immediately go out and get hyperbaric oxygen therapy. For one thing, this was a single study with a small sample size. Something to keep in mind with this or any scientific study is that sample size or the amount of subjects in a study is extremely important. 35 subjects is not a large number, which means there is possibility that these results could be wildly inaccurate. The larger the sample size, the more times an experiment is replicated, the better the data is. What we are saying is that something interesting most definitely happened in the study, and it could unlock the door to overcoming death by old age in the future. Another word of caution, hyperbaric oxygen therapy can be incredibly dangerous and should only be conducted by medical experts at a medical facility. What can happen if you built your own hyperbaric oxygen chamber, you might ask? Well, the chamber could explode from the pressure being too high, as one man found out. He was rescued but suffered from a collapsed lung. A woman and her grandson were also killed in Florida when a faulty hyperbaric oxygen chamber burst into flames. And even though these are extreme cases, if the machine is not used properly, it is common for people to experience hearing loss from ruptured eardrums, vision problems, and even seizures. So, hyperbaric oxygen therapy should only be done by medical experts. But hyperbaric oxygen therapy is not the only research being conducted around slowing or reversing the aging process. Scientists have been close to making breakthroughs on this frontier for years now, and it's only a matter of time before they figure out how to extend human life. One biotech CEO used an experimental gene therapy on herself. Elizabeth Parrish underwent an anti-aging gene therapy developed by her company BioViva. This was not FDA approved or conducted using the scientific method, but she claims to have extended her own telomeres and reversed her age of her immune cells by 20 years. Her results are in question, and there needs to be many more tests, but this brings up a good point. Science has come a long way in genetic modification, especially with the development of CRISPR, which allows scientists to cut any section of DNA they want and replace it with a different gene. This technology has the potential to allow humans to alter their DNA and thereby control what genes someone may or may not have in the future. For example, a Chinese scientist named He Jiankui edited the DNA of twin girls who were born in 2018. He Jiankui claims he disabled a gene called CCR5 in each of the twins while they were still the embryos in their mother's uterus. The gene codes for that protein that allows HIV to enter cells. By editing the gene, He Jiankui might have created the first genetically modified babies to be resistant to the virus that causes AIDS. This was deemed unethical and the Chinese government arrested He Jiankui, but the fact remains that we have the technology to modify our own genome and that very technology may allow humans to live forever. In a different study, researchers from the University of California, Los Angeles gave nine volunteers a mix of three common drugs that affect growth hormones and diabetes. On average, they found that immune cells in the volunteers' bodies reversed the age by about two and a half years. This was surprising as they expected the cocktail of drugs to slow down the signs of aging but not reverse them. Again, the researchers make it clear that more studies need to be done. However, their study may suggest that the right combination of prescription drugs may be able to extend the lifespan of humans. Each of these examples shows that not only are we close to stopping the aging process of our bodies, but we may be close to reversing the process altogether. And one final experiment has many scientists excited for what the future holds. Since DNA damage is responsible for most of the symptoms of aging, it stands to reason that healthy DNA equals a healthy and long-living person. A recent study found that by giving plasma from young rats to older rats, the biological age of the older rats was reversed. This got scientists thinking and led to a research around an enzyme called HDAC1. Scientists found that the enzyme may play a key role in repairing age-related damage to DNA. It's been found that HDAC1 levels are much lower in people with Alzheimer's and older adults in general. Scientists began examining the different levels of HDAC1 in mice and how lower levels correlated to more damaged DNA. They then injected a drug that would reactivate the production of the HDAC1 enzyme in the older rats, and the results were astonishing. The rats given the reactivation drug reduced their biological age by 
4%. Imagine being able to take medicine that would restore your body to half of its current age. If this could be done indefinitely, then old age would no longer be a concern for humans. We're at a turning point for our species. Science has made it possible to not only understand what causes aging in humans, but how the process may be reversed. It is very possible that within your lifetime, humans will conquer the symptoms of old age and even death itself. However, this may lead to a whole new set of problems as population control would become a real issue. Now watch why it would suck to live through the end of the universe, or check out Science Experiment Proves Afterlife is Real.